Welcome, class. I'm Shibi. I'll be your instructor today. So, for today's lesson, we're going to be going through how to create haptics. I know the whole thing can sound a bit daunting at first, but thanks to our most brilliant student, Delori, we have a fantastic little tool that makes creating them super, super easy. Let's all give Alori a round of applause. <laughs> I've actually had a lot of people ask me how to make haptics. And since I'm in a really good mood right now, I thought it might be fun to help instruct you. Fortunately, some lovely minions of mine were also willing to help with this. <laughs> Anyways, now that you want it, let me teach you. How to create haptic scripts. First things first, you will need to download the haptics editor. If you're on Windows, head over to Alori's GitHub page where you can download it for free. For the naughty students in the back, using a Mac, things are a little bit trickier. You'll need to download the project and open it in Unity. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. You can download Unity from their website. After that, you'll publish the build yourself. And don't forget, the GitHub page also offers some excellent documentation on the tool and its features. Make sure to check that out. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the tool, you're ready to go. Just run haptixeditor.exe. Now, let's talk about audio files. The haptics editor currently supports only MP3 format. If your audio file isn't already an MP3, you'll need to convert it. A simple way to do this is by using Audacity. You just open your audio file in Audacity and export it as an MP3. Navigate to File, Export Audio, Control, Shift, E, all pressed together, and select MP3 files as the format. Great! Now that we have our MP3 file, let's load it into the haptics editor. Head to File, then Load Audio. Depending on the length of your audio and your computer's speed, this might take a minute. Once the file is loaded, you'll see the audio waveforms displayed at the bottom. The top waveform represents the left channel, and the bottom waveform represents the right channel. You'll also notice a layers window on the bottom left. This window now shows a new layer, which is where our haptics will be saved. We'll explore layer functionality in a later lesson, but for now, you can hide it in the menu bar if you prefer. Now, look just above the waveforms. This is where we'll define our haptics using the area with the horizontal lines. Click with the left mouse button to place a point. See how a line is created from the previous point to the new point? Hmm. Go ahead and place a few more points. To remove points, right click. This action removes the next point from the cursor. To remove previous points, hold the Alt key while right clicking. There are a couple of options for this scripting mode. Snapping causes the points to snap to intervals of 5, which aligns with the 20-step motors most common toys use. Step mode allows fast creation of steps by automatically placing a point at the level of the previous point. Moving on, let's talk about patterns. Click the default button on the toolbar or press F1 to switch to the next scripting mode. In this mode, you can customize and place patterns quickly. The toolbar and shortcuts give you complete control. Press Q to cycle through created patterns. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the intensity. Control scroll wheel adjusts the length. <laughs> Shift scroll wheel adjusts how many times the pattern repeats. 
You can create or remove patterns in the pattern editor found on the menu bar. For now, let's stick with the existing patterns. Last but not least, we have free mode. In free mode, you can freely draw haptics by holding the left mouse button and erase using the right mouse button. If you play back the audio by pressing space, free mode will place the points at the current playback time, allowing you to script in real time. For more control, you can slow down the playback speed by pressing S. For faster scripting, you can increase the playback speed by pressing W. To reset back to normal playback speed, press R. Finally, to save your work, press Ctrl S. This will create a fun script file in the same location as your audio file. And that wraps up today's lesson. Happy scripting, everyone! If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider using the links below to buy any toys you want these files to go with. If you're a hypnodom like me, an erotic audio artist, maybe an ASMR artist, or honestly, if you make any sort of erotic content, adding haptics to that content doesn't just give more value to your content. It can give you an edge on the competition and add to your income. Haptics are becoming more and more popular as new people discover them, and it's a great way to show your community that you want to make cool shit for them. For me, I use haptics in my files to add real-world sensations to go with my words. I enjoy the effectiveness, and if you aren't a content creator and want to make your own scripts for personal use, please consider buying any toys using the link provided in and below this video. Maybe as a thank you?